Hi. Welcome to our channel. In this video we gonna explain LTPO display technology. We seen lots of new upgrades in recent Android flagships and midrange phones. Especially in display technologies and battery life. OLED high refresh rate displays makes a phone significantly smoother and feel faster to use than the standard 60 Hz displays still use in most smartphones. However, High refresh rate means higher power consumption, especially with the high resolution displays like QHD. This is where LTPO display technology comes in. LTPO displays can have both high refresh rate and resolution without using too much power. The first proper LTPO display technology on a smartphone was the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. And now, they can be found in some other Android flagship smartphones as well. However, there's no high refresh rate displays in iPhones yet, though there's rumored that the upcoming iPhone 13 will comes with LTPO display tech. So, what is LTPO? LTPO stands for Low Temperature Polycrystal Line Oxide, and what it does is allows for a display to dynamically change its refresh rate without needing any additional hardware support for devices GPUs and display controller. That means, devices able to change the display refresh rates automatically, from power-hungry high refresh rates to lower refresh rates when they aren't needed, which can save battery life. LTPO technology developed by Apple, for their Apple Watch Series 5. This allows Apple Watch to scale a refresh rate from 60 Hz, down to 1 Hz. And because of that, Apple Watch Series 5 lasts longer without any battery upgrades. Currently, most of the OLED displays in phones, use LTPS, which low temperature polycrystal line silicon panels. These panels allowed for OLED displays on smartphones to be more power efficient than regular IPS LCD displays. However, without additional hardware support, LTPS panels don't allow dynamic refresh rates, and that's the case with the OnePlus 8 Pro and Oppo Find X2 Pro. Other phones that have LTPS panels can only swap between 120Hz and 60Hz. But, displays that use LTPO have a combination of LTPS TFT, TFT stands for Thin Film Transistors, and IGZO, which stands for Indium Gallium Zinc Oxide Transistors. While IGZO TFTs driving the display, LTPS TFTs switching circuits. Result is smoother and more efficient display that can dynamically change its refresh rate. All these seems to be great, but, these LTPO panels have some issues. First of all, Apple owns patents for LTPO panels, so other OEMs have to buy license from Apple to use these panels. And, IGZO TFTs are larger than LTPS TFTs, because of that, they can't be packed as densely into a display. Which means using IGZO TFTs, these LTPO panels have screen sharpness issues. To overcome the screen sharpness issues, and, Apple's license fees, Samsung developed their own LTPO display tech, called HPO, that doesn't compromise screen sharpness. HPO stands for Hybrid Oxide and Polycrystal Line Silicon. This LTPO panel, first appeared in the Galaxy Note 20 series. And with the Galaxy S21 series, they upgrade that LTPO panel, to reduce the power consumption of OLED displays, by 16%. And that is a big upgrade, because even though, the S21 series was the high-end flagship at the time, with the most powerful SoC and 6.8-inch screen with 1300 nits peak brightness, it still managed to deliver very good battery life. For now, these LTPO display panels limited to some flagship phones. But, because of the competition between OEMs, we can expect more LTPO panels in lots of Android flagships and mid-range phones, as well as iPhones in near future. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon for new updates. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video.